All right, this is an Amperite SR80 uh, ribbon microphone from the early 1930s. Uh, belonged to my wife's grandmother um, when it was kind of passed down to me. The ribbon was damaged and the cabling was jacked, so I uh, I reran the wiring. Um, I couldn't find an exact replacement for the ribbon when I broke it all down, uh, but I did have some aluminum foil in the house. Uh, so it's a little bit heavier, um, heavier element than it should be. Um, but I wired it all back up, put the magnets back, scrubbed the grill down and the, uh, and the base here where the, uh, where the cable comes in, scrubbed that down, uh, with some chrome polish and, and, uh, some vinegar, um, re-glued the, uh, wind popper on the inside. Um, and, uh, it's firing on all cylinders now, so. Let's give it a shot and see what it sounds like. I'm going to flip the mic around and see what this... Test one, two. Test one, two. So uh, you can hear the microphone's working. Um, usually these ribbon mics are really good for high volume applications. They're kind of dark and warm, so you know guitar amps and horns, they're used a lot for that. But I want to try some vocals on it too uh, once I get some of the noise squelched out of it. Um, so... We'll uh, do some recording on it uh, pretty soon, and uh, we'll see what kind of results we get. All right.